welcome back to mine and Cooper's channel. Today's video is actually a collab video with Mondays with Casey. I am going to leave her video to this collab, part two, um, down in the link below. Please, please go check her out. She has a cute little one-year-old fur baby named Hank. This video is our top five dog mom tips. The reason why we thought this would be such a good collab is because I have an older, larger dog, whereas she has a younger, smaller dog. So our top five dog tips may vary, and then it's more of a variety for you guys watching. The first category in our top five dog mom tips is exercise. With a larger dog, um, with every dog, but mainly with a larger dog, I find that exercise is very, very, very important. It's kind of the difference between whether he's going to wake you up at 4 a.m. or 7 a.m. <laughs> My top tip for this is to set a schedule. Cooper's schedule is he gets a walk every day um, around three and then around seven. With this, I find that he doesn't really um, bug, especially when we're eating dinner because he knows that a walk will be coming later. I feel like it's really good to just kind of get them on a schedule for exercise. That way they know when it's coming, they know they're gonna get one, and it, they almost seem to be kind of calm because until it is the time and then they're just like bugging you to like let's go. Also if your life isn't on a schedule much like mine isn't really uh, there is also a lot of options out there. There's dog walkers, um, daycare, really cool companies and apps that are all coming out lately that can help you get your dog walking on a schedule for you. The second category in the top five dog mom tips is grooming. Now with Cooper, this all depends on your dog's breed. With Cooper being a lab, I don't have to do much grooming. Um, he only gets bathed probably about four times a year. Um, but one thing that I'd say 90% of dogs do need is brushing mainly every day. Especially with a lab who sheds constantly, uh, my top dog mom tip is to get a good brush based on your dog's fur. Personally for my lab, for Cooper, I use a Furminator because it really gets the undercoat um, and it does make a huge difference whether he sheds a lot or whether he just sheds a little bit. Definitely reach out to other people, do some research on what dog brush is best for your dog breed, but my top dog mom tip for grooming is definitely get a good brush. The third category is treats and food. With me owning a lab, treats and food is a huge part of Cooper's life. My top dog mom tip is trial and error. And I know it's kind of a weird tip, but um, that is what we had to do with him. We found out luckily pretty early that he does have a allergy and he needs grain free food and treats, but that didn't come until we did trial and error and what was best for him. Especially with feeding and treats, it is a big part of the dog's life. I would say trial and error based on what your dog favorites are um, and what is best also for his needs. The fourth category is training. Now, we had a very hard time training Cooper. If you ever saw the movie Marley and Me, that was him. My top tip for training is to make sure that everybody in your household is all on the same page. Not only that, but people entering your household, coming over, I just say, especially if you're in the puppy training mode, to make sure they're all on the same page as well. If you don't want your dog eating any human food, make sure you tell guests that not to feed him any human food. So my top tip is just to make sure everyone is on the same page with the same rules when you're training your dog. The fifth category is toys and playtime, which is personally my favorite. There is definitely a difference between exercise and playtime. I feel like exercise is needed. Um, much like it's needed for humans. However, playtime is what you kind of want to do. My top dog mom tip when it comes to toys and playtime is to make sure that you find a toy um, during playtime or just a toy in general that is right for your dog and that is durable. I know some toys you look at the price tags and it's like that is a lot of money for a toy, but if it is going to last and it is um, a reputable brand, bling, buy it. We bought two toys for Cooper when he was uh, very young, both of which were very expensive, and he still has them today. Also with playtime, um, another just side tip is to make sure you do something that your dog really loves. Cooper really loves playing with the hose. Um, it makes watering and gardening very difficult, but it is what he loves to do. So even though he shouldn't really be doing it because it does make certain things difficult. 
Um, he loves it so much, so play with the hose. By no means am I an expert at all. Um, these are just my top five dog mom tips. Not even dog mom tips, dog parenting tips for you. Please, please, please leave your dog tips in the comments below. Depending on size, age, breed, it's all going to be different. So I would love to hear some of your top dog tips down below as well. Also, don't forget to check out Casey. This was a collab, so she is also doing the exact same except with a smaller dog, a younger dog, cute little Hank. Um, so please click down below. I don't know why I did this. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe and we will see you next time. Bye.